In this video, I'm going to be teaching you elasticity and why it's so basically it's simple and I want you to get this idea what elasticity is. So I'm going to basically show you in a graph how to calculate elasticity. Also, um, a real life example so you understand elasticity. So to define what elasticity is basically what's the relationship between price versus quantity for like if you change the price like how is it correlated but do not worry i'm going to show you so let's say you and a friend both own a business and you are let's say well let's give you a okay so you are a and your friend is b now i'm just going to write over here quantity and this is price so you both sell chocolates so this is for let's say for monday so in Monday, you sold 10 chocolates at a price of, let's say, 10 rand each. Now, we do not have to put rands also because you know price is price. Okay, so let's say 20 rand each. Your friend is the exact same. The quantity sold is 10 at 20 rand each. Now, you all were doing very, very well on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So... At Thursday, you all decided, okay, you know what, let's up our prices because we need profit, okay? So, you said, okay, you know what, I'm just going to up my price by 2 rand. So, your, basically, your price now is 22 rand. So, basically, you upped your selling price by 2 rand. But, because you upped your price by 22 rand, obviously, you're not going to sell 10 anymore. Maybe now you're going to sell 9, right? at the end of the day, if you up your prices, less people will buy. Think about it. But now your friend, he was greedy. So instead of upping it by a little, he upped it by 10 rand. So he sold it for 30 rand. Now, how much did he um, sell, quantity he sold? Now, because it went up so much, he only sold, only sold two. So on first day, you all both sold 10 at 20 rand each. You all both. But now you all changed it. You went to an up in selling price. That is why you dropped by one customer. He went up by 10 rand. And now he, I mean, look at that, man. Two customers versus 10, that's, in, that's like insane. So just by this, who has a higher elasticity? It'll be this one. Because the relationship between the price when you drop and quantity, it was so, I mean, look at, look at this. When you, he went up by 20 rand to 30 rand, he lost eight customers. But over here, it's low elasticity because he, when you went up by two rand, you only dropped by one. Now, how do you calculate elasticity in, basically put this in mathematical terms. You know this is a higher elasticity than this. But how do you calculate it? Okay. So this is very, very important to calculate because you will get it in the exam. Now, the formula goes like this. The quantity change divided by the price change now some say percentage at the end of the day the percentage gets cancelled off so you don't have to worry about that also whether you take a negative i mean when you're doing this calculation even if you get a negative you ignore it right okay so how do you calculate so let's calculate the price elasticity of demand for a now what is the quantity change and how do you work it out so we're looking at the numerator now so the quantity change okay so I want you to take the difference between 10 and 9. Don't say this minus this or this minus this. Just like the difference. The difference is 1. So you put 1 over. What is this plus this divided by 2? So we're taking like the average of the sum of this. 10 plus 9 is 19. And what's 19 divided by 2? 19 divided by 2 is 9.5. So put over here 9.5 divided by similarly you do it for the um quantity okay sorry wait this was supposed to be oh no it's right quantity yeah so now we're taking the difference in price the difference is two so put two over here divided by this plus this divided by two that's 42 divided by two that's 21 and now put this in a calculator now i'm going to do it right now so one divided by 9.5 divided by 2 over 21 that gives me 1.1 1 .1, 1 .1. so is equals to 1.1 perfect now let's see this one 
So to calculate this one, okay, the difference in quantity that is 8 over the sum, so 10 plus 2 is 12 divided by 2, that is 6. So 8 over 6 divided by, now 20 plus, I mean, what's the difference here? It's 10. 10 over the sum, the average sum, 30 plus 20 is 50, 50 divided by 2, it's 25. Okay. So now put that in a calculator exactly that. So 8 divided by 6 divided by 10 over 25. I got 3.3 .3 as my answer. 3.3. .3. So there we go. The elastic... <laughs> wait, wait. I know why I think of that. 3.3. .3. Okay, perfect. So can you see? We, by looking at it, saw that it had a high elasticity. But now we put it in maths terms. We put it in eco terms. This has a 3.3 .3 elasticity and this has a 1.1 .1 elasticity. You see what I'm saying? So that's what elasticity is. It's the relationship when you change your price of a product, how it affects the quantity. Think about it. When he changed its price, he changed his price so much, which affected the quantity so little people bought. So basically this elasticity tells you the high elasticity, the basically the effect was high of you changing the price. For this in case, it was, I mean, it changed, but not that much. That's why the elasticity is low. Because when he, you changed the price, you only like lost only one person. So your effect was very little when you changed the price of a product. So your elasticity is low. Now, one thing you must know about elasticity, um, there's three main elasticity um, numbers you get. There's um, unit elasticity. Now, okay. So your unit elasticity is one. Your Anything le okay, so anything less than one is called inelastic. So inelastic. Um, so inelastic is means that it's not didn't have a um, very uh, big change. So like if this was let's say, not, well basically if you get a elasticity of less than one, your change is very very small. One is it's called per unit elasticity. So unit elasticity okay and greater than one it's called elastic elasticity okay it's not in it's not elasticity it's elastic okay so leave out the y so it's just elastic and this one is inelastic so if the if your answer is less than one it's inelastic if it's on one exactly it's called unit elasticity if it's greater than one is elastic so whenever you get a thing that is greater than elastic it means the change is the change was quite quite high um unit elastic it's like neutral and if it's less than one it's inelastic okay all right so now on the next now that i explain elastic uh ila okay i find it very difficult to pronounce this um so now that I've covered elasticity and what is it, now I'm going to show you how to do an exam question when they give you a graph and how do you calculate the price elasticity of demand.